Welcome to this training session on the iPlan software. This uh, normally is for the benefit of regional pedagogical inspectors, heads of department and teachers of the specialties of accounting and taxation and information management system. It has uh, been prepared by the national pedagogical inspectors of these specialties. Today, we are moving to module four, which is on the, the creation of accounts. For this module, we have a unique competence, which is the creation of accounts. We are now going to demonstrate how to create an account using the software. Okay, normally, to start our creation of accounts, we first of all go and open the, the software. So we'll click on the icon and we'll wait for it to, to open. So when it opens, we'll continue with the normal stage by entering our personal information. That is selecting our specialty, validating, selecting the language, which should normally be English. That is, we'll select twice for the language to get validated. Then from there, you enter your personal, personal information and the, the signature. So when you enter your personal information and the signature, you take enter to, to validate. So when you validate, now you see now the spider that carries the software environment will open. And normally we we'll go to our accounting. So you click on accounting. When you click on accounting, it gets open. Here's a point you go to chart of accounts. When you take your chart of accounts, the window is open. You come now and you select your company. And we can remember that all two have been working in Good Samaritan entity. So when you open now, you go and select among the, the entities or the companies that you have. You take Good Samaritan entity. When you take Good Samaritan entity, now you go to new. When you click on new, you have another Windows that opens up, say you select manual creation of an account. When you select manual creation of an account, now the window now will open for you to give the details of the accounts. So as demonstration, we are going to use two accounts. We are going to use the, we are going to use that is, we'll start with the account number. The account number is 52110 and the title is United Bank of uh, Africa, Boya. So we'll take 52110. We enter, then you go now to next is type. So the type now is to uh, distinguish whether the account is a main account or it is a sub account. So normally from the from the number of digits given, you as accountants will identify that it is a detail. So you take on detail, the year is already there, then you have the heading. The heading is the title of the account. So type United Bank of Bank of Africa, Boya. So when we take that, we come now, we validate. So when we validate, that means this first account has gone into the system. To create now another account, we come back again, we take on new. When you take on new, you proceed with the same state, manual creation. You come now to number. So the second account, we are going to create account 57110, which is main cash. So we'll enter the number 57110. The type again, it is the detail. So you take detail, the heading, the name of the account is main, main cash. So you enter the name of the, the name of the account in header. So from here, you come and you, you validate. So when you validate, that means in our system and uh, in, a com in our company, Good Samaritan, we already have these two accounts existing. So we close. And then we come again, we close now the, the software, that is you disconnect from the, from the software. Okay, the creation of accounts is one of uh, the most important steps in order to build our, our accounting records. Because normally, we cannot be accounting records without having accounts. 
So reason why the creation of account is a very important step. So you create your accounts as you transactions are coming up. If a transaction comes up with an existing account, no problem, you don't create. But if the account is not existing, you need to create. Our next module will be on the creation of Jonas.